Hello everyone, in this video I am going to explain the difference between Vectorfix and Volley Library. So first of all I will discuss Volley Library. Volley is a networking library which is developed by Google for Android. And Volley Library is used to perform networking operations. You can also perform networking operations by using Android Library. But for doing this you will have to write a large amount of code and it will also increase the complexity of your code. As you know that you cannot perform networking operation on main thread. So you have to develop a separate background thread to perform networking operation. And to develop separate thread you will have to use async task class or async task library. Of course doing all this will increase the complexity of your code and it will require you to write a lot more lines of code. See, so to avoid this complexity, there are many third parties libraries like Voli and Retrofit, which provide you a mechanism to write less code and to avoid complexity. The question is how how they can provide you a mechanism that requires you to write less code. Basically behind the scene you do not have to write the code which will handle the background thread. Voli and Retrofit libraries handle the background threading by themselves. These are not the only features which are provided by Voli library. Voli library also provides request prioritization, making multiple requests at the same time, canceling the request, and they also it also provides caching mechanism. So now I will move toward the Retrofit library. Retrofit is a REST client for Android through which you can make easy to use interfaces which can turn any Android app into a powerful one. By using Retrofit we do not have to convert JSON response explicitly to our Java object. Retrofit will automatically convert it. So now I will talk about the difference between Retrofit Android library and Voli Android library. The first difference is request execution. Both Retrofit and Voli library provide support to execute requests synchronously and asynchronously. Mean that you can perform the request in a, in a background thread and you can also perform the request or networking operation in the main thread. And the next difference is automatic JSON parsing. Retrofit provides automatic parsing of JSON data as I have described earlier. Voli does not provide any such feature. The next, next difference is inbuilt request types. Voli supports following request types string requests, JSON object requests, JSON array requests, and image requests. While Retrofit supports six request types, including Boolean, integer, date, string, object, and collection. Now the next difference is retrain mechanism. Voli also provides you retrain mechanism. By default, a request timeout time is 5 seconds, but this can also be changed by calling a method called set retrain policy. Voli library also provides you Caching mechanism also provides you a mechanism of request prioritization. It also provides you a mechanism of canceling your requests. But on the other hand, Vectorfeed does not provide you any such mechanism or any such feature. The next difference is email loading. Voli library has a special type of request to get images from network called images request. Voli also have you class which can be used with image loader class to automatically load images whenever the network image appears. On the other hand, Vectorfit does not support image loading directly, but you can use Picasso library with Vectorfit to load the images or to fetch the images from a URL. The next and the last difference is coding complexity. As in the start of my video, I have compared Voli and Vectorfit library with Android library. And I have explained there that Retrofit and Voli library libraries are less com complex as compared to Android own networking library. But now the question is, 
that from retrofit and wall library, which library is less complex? And the answer is retrofit library is less complex as compared to wall library because it provides automatic JSON parsing. You do not have to explicitly convert the JSON into your desired object. Retrofit will do it for you without writing you a line of code. Now the big question is when to use which library? Well, I will suggest you to use retrofit library when you have to interact with RESTful web services because in that case mostly the response will be a JSON array which will be automatically converted using retrofit. But if in that case you will use Wally, you have to convert JSON by yourself which is very tedious at times. And also use Wally library when it is required to perform caching operation and prioritization of requests uh, to understand the difference of Wally and retrofit library. 